Hi friends, welcome to another video here on Robo and Chip. Today we will discuss the three different ways how mammals give birth. Let me take you back a little. Animals that have backbones and a skeletal system are called vertebrates. Vertebrates are divided into five groups, reptiles, birds, amphibians, fish, and mammals. Mammals constituting the class Mammalia are characterized by fur or body hair, lungs to breathe, warm-blooded, which means their body temperature is higher than the temperature of their surroundings, and the nursing of the young. We will be looking at mammals and the way they give birth. You have placentals, marsupials, and monotremes. Let us now discuss about the placental mammals. A placental mammal develops inside the mother's body. Just to show you how it works, when food and oxygen is passed on to the developing baby. That is why the term placental mammals. Upon birth, the young are nursed through the mammary glands, like the calf here. Placental mammals account for the majority of the mammal species today. Next up, we have the marsupials. The well-known marsupials are the kangaroos and the koalas. Marsupials give birth to underdeveloped babies inside their body. Immediately after birth, the joey crawls up the fur into the pouch where the mammary glands are located. They develop inside the pouch. Then we have the monotremes. Echidnas and platypus are the well-known monotremes. They are egg-laying mammals. Yes, mammals that lay eggs. Milk is released through pores in the skin. Milk pools in grooves on her abdomen, allowing the young to lap it. That's it folks, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.